In this video, I will show you how to create a BIMX model that contains your ArcFrame structures. First, I will explain what BIMX is and why it's useful for ArcFrame users. Then, I will go through the steps required to create a BIMX model. So what is BIMX and why is it useful? In short, BIMX allows you to view ARCHICAD or ARCHIFRAME 3D models and 2D drawings on a tablet, phone or online without opening ARCHICAD. The format is very interactive and easy to use. All the information relating to your model is accessed through the views stored in the file or by clicking on individual objects in the 3D view. In addition, by creating section planes and plan planes, BIMX makes it easier to understand the relation between the 2D drawings and the 3D model. For example, here I can clearly see which part of the building this section drawing is from. Thus, BIMX is useful for clients, as it allows them to both explore the 3D model without ARCHICAD, as well as to better understand what 2D drawings represent. However, BIMX also has clear benefits for ARCHIFRAME users. In addition to allowing users to explore the 3D model, BIMX can also display ARCHIFRAME element elevations. Many of our clients therefore use BIMX at the element factory to check that the elements are assembled correctly. Using BIMX allows them to zoom in on difficult details and also eliminates the need for paper printouts, thereby saving time spent on printing and organizing the printouts. Similarly, the BIMX model can be used on site. When the elements are brought to the construction site, builders can consult a 3D element diagram in the BIMX model to check where each element with a certain ID belongs. This is clearly easier than searching for each element in a floor plan or having paper printouts of the 3D element diagram from different directions. Lastly, builders can use the BIMX model to check how difficult details should be constructed. For example, in this BIMX model, I have saved a view that only shows the valley rafters and their associated planks in the roof structure. Compared to 2D plans and sections, this 3D view makes it easy to understand the geometry of this part of the roof. To see these benefits in action, you can explore this present BIMX model on your mobile device. Start by downloading the free BIMX app from your app store. When you open the app, you can add models to your device from the BIMX model transfer server. By searching for ARCHIFRAME demo, you can find, view, or download this model. Now I'll open ARCHICAD and show you how to create this kind of BIMX model in practice. We will create a publisher set, define and save the relevant views and drawings in that publisher set, and define what kind of information we want to be visible when a user clicks an object in the BIMX model. So let's start by creating the publisher set at the top level of the Navigator's Publisher tab. I will name my set BIMX. This is basically a folder where we will store all the views and drawings that we want to include in the BIMX file. I have already created some of the views and drawings that I want to include. These include a 3D view of the ARCHICAD model and a 3D view showing only framing. I have also saved the floor plan and two section views. And I have placed these 2D views on layout. It is better to save floor plans and sections in the BIMX model as layouts rather than views because this way, BIMX shows the location of the sections and the plans in the 3D model. Now let's create the views and layouts that are missing. The ARCHIFRAME element diagram, the 3D view of the valley rafters in the roof, and an ARCHIFRAME element drawing. In addition, we will need to create a schedule that determines what information is available in the BIMX model when the user clicks on an object. 
To create the Archiframe element diagram, I will first create a layer combination showing Archiframe exterior and interior elements. I'll call this layer combination AF element. You can immediately see that there are two problems with the IDs in my 3D element view. First of all, there are two IDs visible on some of the windows. Secondly, the IDs are mirrored when you view the element diagram from the outside. Let's start by fixing the first problem. Note that elements created with the newest version of Archiframe will not show two IDs on top of one another. However, in case you are working on an older model, I will show you how to manually fix the IDs. Here, in the View settings, I will adjust the IDs distance from front and back values so that both shift towards the center of the wall by half the thickness of the wall. Thus, the two IDs will be placed on top of one another, so it looks like one ID. Next, I will fix the second problem, that is, that the exterior wall element IDs are the wrong way around when viewing the building from the outside. This happened because when I created the elements, I set their viewing direction to be from inside to outside. This is fine for the floor plan, but in the 3D view we are usually looking at the model from outside to inside. Therefore, I will select all the exterior wall elements and again go to their object settings. I will tick the box Mirror ID 3D. So now the model looks much better. Finally, there's one more setting we need to change and that is the material of the IDs. So I will now select all the elements, including interior ones, and return once more to the object settings. Here, I will select the IDs to have a black material. Why did I change the material of the IDs? This is because in the BIMX web viewer, it is only possible to view the 3D model in a rendered format, which does not show lines around the edges of objects. Therefore, if the IDs have the same material as the rest of the element, they are not easily visible. On the other hand, if the ID has a different material than the element, then it will be clearly visible from all angles. Now I'll just set the camera in a good position, and then save the view. I'll call it 3D Element Diagram. Next, let's move on to the 3D view of the valley rafters in the roof. I'll turn on the framing layer combination. Then I'll select the planks that should be included in the view. And from the view drop down menu, I'll select Show Selected Elements in 3D. As with the element diagram, I again need to make sure that the IDs have a different material compared to the plank material. Note that instead of editing the material manually, I could also save it in the Planck's XML file. In this case, I also want the Columns ID to be displayed. This can be done in the Planck's Object Settings in the View section. And now I will save the view. Then let's move on to adding Archiframe element drawings to the BIMX file. As I mentioned earlier, it is possible to save drawings as either views or layouts. In this case, I would again recommend using layouts. The reason for this is that with views, it is difficult to create a view that only shows one element drawing. For example, if I save this ARCHICAD view in the BIMX model, then in the BIMX viewer, these other element drawings will also be visible. Having many drawings in a single view might make it difficult for the user to find the correct drawing in the BIMX model. Using layout, on the other hand, ensures that your element drawings are displayed neatly, one per layout. So let's just create a layout out of this element drawing. Note that it would also be possible to create layouts for many drawings at once using the same process. 
But now I will just select this one layout and open the Archiframe Quantity Takeoffs dialog. From there I will open the Printing and Layouts dialog and define the correct settings for my layout. Now the layout will appear in the Layout section of the Navigator. Now I will open the top level of the BIMX Publisher set and add the layouts I have created into that set. I'll drag and drop the layouts, but if you think that in the future you will change the names of your layouts or the grouping of layouts, then it would be better to add shortcuts to the layouts instead. Before publishing this set, however, we still need to create a schedule. This is used to determine what information is available when a user clicks on Archicad and Archiframe objects in the BIMX model. For example, in this model, clicking an Archiframe object allows you to see that object's ID, home story, structural function, height, or actually the length of a plank, and any label that the object has. On the other hand, if I click an Archicad object in the BIMX model, then no information will appear. This is because I only added information relating to Archiframe objects. So let's create a similar schedule from the document Schedules menu. I will name the schedule 1.af. At the top of the schedule, I can determine what kinds of objects will be included. As I just mentioned, I want only Archiframe objects. I will include all Archiframe objects, regardless of whether they are planks or elements or something else. I can achieve this by setting the criterion that all objects must contain Archiframe in the library name. Lastly, I do not want objects in the Archiframe element drawings to be included in my schedule. Therefore, I will exclude objects located in the third story. Then in the lower part of the menu, I can determine what information to include about all the objects in my schedule. I will add here the fields mentioned earlier, object ID, home story, height, structural function, and label. Then I'll save the schedule and preview it. So the columns represent the information categories we decided to include. I have only defined the structural function for Archiframe elements and the roof planks, so this column says undefined for most objects. Here is, however, the row for the ridge beam for which all the attributes are defined. If we go to the ridge beam object itself, we can see that it has a label and in the object settings, it is defined as a load-bearing structure. Now we are finally ready to publish the BIMX model. At the top level of the Navigator's Publisher section, I will first open the Publisher properties for the BIMX Publisher set. I want to create a single file of type BIMX hypermodel. I also want to save the file on my computer rather than uploading it directly onto the BIMX server. In the Info Set section, I will choose the schedule I created earlier. Then I will open the BIMX Publisher set and go through the 3D views in the set. For each 3D view, I will set either a skybox or a grey background. And now we are ready to publish. Once the file has been saved, I can transfer it to a mobile device or upload it online at the bimx.graphisoft.com website.